what we want to do is make sure that the people that like the new game and the people that like the old game can play together and be happy. Hi everyone, I'm His Lordship, the leader of the Wilderness Guardians. In this video, I'd like to start an early discussion on Jagex's proposed legacy update and the implications it will have on the RuneScape community. The movie is in two parts. One, the summary of what we know so far, only using Jagex as a source, so no player speculations whatsoever. Everything we know will come from them, not only in their video proposal, but also in forum posts and the podcast that they uh, sent out a few days ago. And the second part is my thoughts on what they've released so far and some suggestions that I would like to offer them. I find this to be a very important video because it's so player driven and they're really listening. You know, every video that's made on YouTube and every forum post is going to be considered by them. So if you have a particular interest in the release of Legacy and have certain demands to be made, I urge you to speak up on the forums in particular where they will listen. Okay, so to begin with, what do we know already? Very little. It is early days yet, of course. It is 100% guaranteed and it is due for release in summer, we hope. There will most likely be a beta for it because it's such a monumental update. It can't be released in small stages. It's going to come all at once, uh, sort of like the EOC. Uh, it will attempt to come as close to pre-EOC as possible. They're really driving that point home. Uh, 138 combat looks like it's going to return and it will work on the same servers as the EOC. Also, there likely will be legacy only worlds. Pures and skillers may be offered a skills rollback. Uh, certain content like Virago will be limited. EOC will offer marginally more damage per second and marginally is Jagex's word. Uh, Dual wielding, new items, and the balanced combat triangle will stay. Uh, you'll use a toggle switch to switch between EOC and Legacy. Uh, there will be new specs put on weapons, uh, e.g. old god spells will be put on mage staffs, uh, and dual wielding, wielding rather, will be as powerful as a two-handed weapon. It's only the rate at which that damage is dealt uh, that will change. So that's what we know. My thoughts. Well, firstly, it's a very good update overall. I'm really looking forward to it. Secondly, less optimistically, it is going to hurt RuneScape 07 majorly. Will it be a death blow? I don't know, but I personally think it will be. Just because the PKing base in 07 is already so small, even as I mentioned in my last video, if even if we lose that small percentage, uh, a recovery will be very difficult. Uh, something that I still need to keep thinking about. This is a very, very complex situation that we've got ourselves into. Uh, I have a recommendation which is to start every single player on Legacy first. Now, I was going to release this in a new uh, video, but uh, you know that footage of me uh, interviewing my real life friends and showing them both versions of RuneScape. Well, um, I've done a couple more since last time and yes, I will make the video, but I need to show you this one clip from one that I just recorded tonight. Uh, you've sort of answered this already, but which version is better? This one. Oh, seven. Okay. And outline one or two reasons why. Uh, it's, it's much easier to start out. Um, the tutorial is much more in depth, but it's it's easier to grab a hold of the game really early on. So you feel more competent with your character. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that is really the major factor that you've got a stronger grasp of the game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, more so than the graphics yeah. or anything like that. And then even even in here, the combat's not the most exciting thing to me personally, but it's more more exciting than you know the other one. Okay, it's really interesting. So from that clip, you can see that he really loved the simplicity of RuneScape uh, 07. And uh, I think that every player should start that way. Leading on, the 07 tutorial should make a return because, you know, it wasn't just this guy, there so many other players 
that I've uh, shown both versions to prefer the 07 tutorial because they feel better equipped to handle their character at the end of it. So, uh, yes, please start everyone on Legacy first and don't call it Legacy, just call it the combat system and then have an EOC option turned on or off. So Legacy should be the default combat system and I really urge you to, to do that. Um, it's more important than you probably think at this moment in time. So in future videos, I may have an opportunity to convince you. Um, I also think you shouldn't divide the community of PKs. Either make Wilderness entirely Legacy or allow both styles to interact with Legacy uh, players fighting EOC players in the Wilderness. I'm not completely sure how that would pan out because EOC combat will offer marginally better damage. What would it be, like 5% more? Uh, probably worth it. Um, I think at least give the option in the beer service and then we'll let you know whether EOC and Legacy players can actually successfully fight each other. Um, but uh, please don't come to a decision yet. We'd love to test that out as the player base. Um, it is a crucial fix to this game, this Legacy update. It is something that could potentially save the game, but alone it will be ineffective. People have this tendency, and I've seen a few videos by Nightmare RH and Bonesaw and Chris Archie who uh, spoke in brief about Legacy Update and um, the YouTube community is just getting this idea that it's going to fix a lot of problems. I think it's absolutely needed, but it's half the story. There's so much more to be done because if we get the Legacy Update, we're still going to get a dead wilderness. There's no resources in there. Now, Mod, Matt K, Mod Ash, the entire team in 07 have done this most spectacular job of uh, trying to rejuvenate the wilderness. I want you to bring that to RS3. Please, please, please. Um, it would be such a shame to have this Legacy Combat and then realize that it was all for naught because uh, we still can't do gay, even though you've brought it back. It would be a great idea to actually coincide both releases at once, or maybe beta the Wilderness updates while you're beating the uh, Legacy mode. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be absolutely sensational? Like, I, I've suddenly become so much more optimistic at just the thought of that. Um, anyway, so if we've, so we've, in theory, put in the Legacy update and a revitalized Wilderness, the new player experience is also very lacking. I just touched on this briefly. We need to start immersing new players. Every player is going to quit this game. Um, and right now we're not seeing the intake of new players that we'd like. Um, and I've, I'd like to make a future video about that. Um, again, um, just, I also want to mention at this stage that old school RuneScape and RS3 do have the same community. Some people approach it at the standpoint of it having of them being two separate communities that can coexist. I don't believe that because in their very nature they are competing for the same player base. 07 sucked a lot of people out of um, RS3 and when Legacy comes back it's going to poach the, uh, a lot of players back. So they are competing for one player base, they're not attracting two player bases. Well in part they are but there's so much overlap as well. So is it one community or is it two? I'm going to go with it's one community but there are but it's dividing more and more so that it's becoming two um but legacy is obviously going to increase that tension um do i still want the game to be unified i'm moving against that notion of a unified game i would rather let the hardcore 07 players just enjoy that game and let it go but they those who play 07 should be aware of the fact that it is archaic and it's probably not going to go anywhere. Um, there are a host of other minor problems with RS3 that I personally feel can be resolved easily enough. But the major ones, apart from Legacy, is please put the Wilderness uh, revitalization into RS3 and also look at the new player experience. Uh, 
actually having a look at all these problems, uh, thinking about legacy mode and fixing PKing has got me uh, thinking about a whole bunch of other things related to RuneScape. And I see that the problem is, should I, should I use that word problem? Um, there are there are a lot of issues at play, and um, it's we've got a lot more to deal with as a PK community than we did before. If you remember years and years ago, those of you who played, there there wasn't this division between skillers and PKers and PVMers. It was just the total player on the most part. Yes, some people specialised, but back when I was uh, playing in 2004, 5, 6, and 7, I did everything. I mean, PKing was my favorite thing to do, but I really loved it. I actually was um, a quest guide writer. I've still got some quest guides up on this old website called Rune Village. I don't know if any of you remember that. Anyway, the point is um, it would be nice to get that total player back. I mean, PKing isn't... PKs enjoy doing other things too. Well, they used to at least. I, d I don't know where this division came from, but I'm starting to think more and more about that division of players and why we're getting that and whether it's a, a good thing. But that's for another video. Let's stick to legacy here. Okay, so in terms of the implementation of legacy, I would also suggest that you do a bank rollback for those members who opt in because a lot of people uh, sold their stuff for bonds to pay for their O7 membership. If they want to come back to RS3, um, would you consider a bank rollback? I mean, with bonds now, it's a, it's a bit tricky. Um, I don't know, what do, what do the viewers think? Is it, is it even feasible? Or um, what about porting banks over? I mean, an 07 bank put into RS3 would be pretty worthless, but I guess it's better than nothing. Would, would it be worth porting the 07 bank into RS3? Um, or do, does one simply have to start from scratch? Um, I, I'm hoping for a rollback. Um, and what about skill and e EXP? Does my, you know, 30 odd woodcutting levels translate into XP that can go into my EOC account? Probably not. Um, uh, I'm, I doubt they would port skills back, except uh, if, if you're a pure or a level 3 skiller where they might offer you a rollback. But uh, switching between the two versions is very, very unlikely. I mean, they wouldn't allow porting um, from RS3 to 07, so I doubt they would uh, allow it this time. I need to think more about that, actually. Anyway, so those are my original thoughts on Legacy. Um, like I said, there's not much to work off. These are early days, and I want to make another video on Legacy later on when we've got more details, or maybe when the beta comes out, um, and I can really actually show you in-game footage of what's working and what's not. Um, I hope this review has been to your satisfaction. I know how vague it is. I've looked at other videos on YouTube. They're all very vague. We just have nothing to work off. Um, my next video is going to be that video of showing uh, my friends both versions of RuneScape and getting their feedback. Some of you will be surprised at what they answer, answer with, and others will be, um, well, they'll be like, well, duh. Um, I'm not going to give away the surprise as to which one is more popular, uh, but <laughs> I, I, I want to, you know, you'll notice some other quirky things like how important it is that what their characters look like. They, like, so many of them spent ages customizing their characters, and I was just sitting there going, oh, hurry the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be a great video. Anyway, before that happens, uh, that's probably not going to happen for a few weeks. I'm very busy with my music degree. Um, in the meantime, I have two, two other things to say. One is that old school RuneScape is not dying at the moment, and I apologize for saying it was. I've spoken to Mod Mac, who so kindly gave me a really in-depth review on the Zybes forums, and he, he gave me some vague stats that said, actually, the amount of players who are quitting versus the amount of new memberships that we're getting, we, um, and he thought that RuneScape would shrink and decline, but actually he's found the opposite. As to how many of those are bots, I didn't dare ask him, but you know what, he's just overall such a trustworthy guy that if he says RuneScape's not dying, uh, RuneScape 07's not dying, I will believe him. And 
You know what? That's great. That's absolutely great. It's not like I want RuneScape 07 to die, even though I feel like um, we should merge the games. Um, the other thing I want to say is I'm going to do a plug for an old music video called Tales from Port Sarum. The link is on the screen now. It's also in the video description. Um, please, please, please spare the three minutes and 30 seconds. I entered it into uh, a Golden Gnomes competition a couple of years ago. I raged hard when it did not get into the finals because I quite frankly thought it was better than the other two entries that did get into the finals. So I'm going to do a plug for that because it is like one of my proudest videos and it's gotten such little attention. And you know what? I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it. Most people who've seen it really uh, quite liked it. It's a, it's a pretty cool catchy song and everything that. And don't forget, I am a Master of Music student at the Royal College of Music. <clears throat> Ego. <clears throat> uh, anyway, I'm, I can't wait to show you this next video on people trying out RuneScape because um, I don't know if anyone's done this sort of thing before. I certainly didn't find any videos on YouTube and now I'm rambling for lack of anything else to say. So let's cut straight to the comments and see what people have posted on my last video. Will Bros, from the Jagex podcast, all I know is that they will be nerfing merely slightly and giving more advantages to majors and rangers. What this means is that PKs will have to relearn tactics. I worried about this at first because we as players, as we get older, we don't deal as well with change as we did when we were young. Will PKs be prepared to adapt to the more balanced combat triangle? Personally, I'm looking forward to it, but I expect to hear complaints from people who swear by the old system because they don't trust Jagex enough to make these changes effectively. Hops and Mathers, you're asking me to look into the future. I find it very difficult to guess anything you've given on that list. I certainly don't have any sort of insider information. All I can say is that I agree that the wilderness toggle has to go. The staff members working on the EOC update right now have actually expressed their dislike of it too. As for the weapons being obsolete, that's another problem I'll speak about in another video. <laughs> Jagex release new content that bumps old content out of the game. For example, who uses runecrafting altars now? Change is inevitable, but I really hate how they are making old content become useless. Massey, I really hope they don't make holiday items available to everyone. I get that they are trying to be democratic to newer players and, you know, remove some elitism, but I think Jagex should accept that there are limited edition items and not tamper with that integrity. They would upset more people than they please. Ensimon, I have to apologize if I've sounded self-absorbed. It's criticism I often get and I am working on more humility. Travis Lowell, I promise you that you are not alone. <clears throat> I tried to do the same thing four or five times in the last year. I'd log in and literally freeze, not knowing what the hell to do. Half the items in my bank are useless and the other half, I have no idea what they even do. One of these days I'll just man up and start somewhere. I bet there are thousands of us veterans who have felt this same sense of being lost in our own game. Ben Kelly, I found your comment pretty interesting and it's been something I've th been thinking about for a while too. RuneScape is in uncharted territory, you see. Every game has had a lifespan, even World of Warcraft, it's on its way out now. Blizzard have said they aren't doing any more expansions. I can't think of any other online game that's made it this far, and I have to wonder what the pressure on Jagex is like. How long can a game be fashionable, and how can they come back into fashion after their heyday has passed? Food for thought. Okay guys, that's all from me this time. Don't forget to check out my music video, Tales from Port Sarum. All the best.